Okay, Illuminator is going to be conquering. No. Whiteout and Space 54 with pretty much no trouble. Gotta get that easy peasy Vampire Survivors win in. Because, boy, is it going to be an easy one. One of the strongest actual characters, not based on the weapon. Plus, you get a strong weapon on the back end of it. And I have so many options. Do I want them to explode? Do I want them to explode in a different way? Or do I want them to freeze things? Obviously, I want them to explode. Since that does by far the most. Spinach is on the map. Your GC will probably be necessary. Hey, Toronis box. Hey, an immediate level. Hey, more levels. Guess what's gonna keep happening? I'm gonna level up more, and it's gonna wipe out everything on screen. And then I'm gonna get more levels from what happens there. Oh, what a ridiculous effect. Hey, look, even the plants have no trouble. Sur are no trouble. Oh, my silly, silly mind. It just never works as it should. I speak faster than I should think. Wait. No, it's I think before I speak. Or I get it backwards entirely. Whoever could have guessed that would happen. Bless them all. Hey, give me all them snowman goodies. Hey. Double rosary. Oh, they don't get affected by rosary, huh? Yep, this was not going to be difficult. In fact, I was underestimating how easy it was going to be. And there might be some slight annoyance with the snowman, but that's about it. Alright, it's evolving time for that. I don't even know what I'm going to get for my last one. There's nothing really that helpful. Oh, a tractor would work. That would be nice. Has it even shown up once? I uh, no, I'm still a bit far away, so it's the next cave over that has my might increase. Hmm. Doesn't really come up like, all that often, but yeah. I don't suppose I committed it to memory. Oh good, I am. I always keep glancing over at OBS to make sure that I'm recording. And the audio is good, and the audio is, well, not good, but it's acceptable. Good audio belongs elsewhere. Uh, it's like a laser light show of doom. Maybe that's what I should name this one, the laser light show of doom. Or the laser spiral of victory. Yep. I all knew that was coming. Nope. No real choice. Well, at least when they get knocked back, I get that gem right away. 48. I'll actually have a decent level at the end of this for once. Like, remember all those other characters that were struggling to get their stuff filled out? Not Luminaire. Not Luminaire at all. Oh, hey, some actually survived a hit. They won't survive for that much longer, though. No, oh, hey, some small clovers dropped. Ah, oh, this is gonna end poorly for them. And that it did. That it very much did. Oh, it's hitting off so much. Uh, this will not do anything. It will not. 
It did not, and it shall never again be around. Oh, wow, damage. I can't be arrogant. I still can take damage because this thing sort of trails behind lazily. Which makes it difficult to do some things. No, oh, there's no real point to getting wings. And again, there isn't a point to not getting it. Oh, wow, more clovers. Oh, from the random event. Thank you. I got a 111 luck. That's kind of crazy. If only I'd gotten the clover. Heck, maybe I'll get a random event for armor or hollow heart or something else. That'll probably end up being for Tyronis box, because why wouldn't it? This is the time you want to put the controller down. Hey, NFT. In. Where's that Arcana chest? You know, it usually gets too nonsensical at the end, but I don't know if it can actually stack the Arcanas on Luminaire or you no know, Prismatic Missile here. It's supposed to be that only the first one does it, but Bracelet also gets the benefit of all the three of the Arcanas too, so who knows. Uh-oh, robots. Not even you can survive this. Yep, not even they can survive it. It's only gonna get worse for them too. <laughs> Oh, after so much trouble with Whiteout, this is a delicious change of pace. I can still get hit, though. I just can't be arrogant. Which I've already mentioned, but I am plenty arrogant, considering I'm making a series about beating every stage with every character. And thinking I can break into this space. But hey, thanks for all the views and all the likes. Finally got a whole week of likes! Which isn't much, but hey, it's better than not getting likes. So thanks for that, guy or girl. Well, no, actually, I think it's a guy. That's what my analytics say. Everyone who watches this is a guy. Yeah. But, you know, there's always liars. Well, I, mean, I guess it is liars, but that's so prejudiced term. Well, insulting. I mean, it's still technically lying, but, you know, I put my profile as the wrong thing plenty, so maybe someone who is liking this video and watching it did the same thing to mess with the analytics. So thank you, whoever is dropping the likes. I like them. Oh, hey, Luminaire. Yeah, her weapon is named after herself, and things get, strangely, a little crazier. Oh, what the heck? This is worse. What? Oh, I can't believe I was expecting that, I think. Mean. Uh oh, I need to get the Arcana chest. But I'm too weak to get over there. I really was not expecting that to be the circumstance. Okay, that cleared them all out. Alright, save me awake. I guess I don't evolve this. It's too dangerous. It's actually weaker, yeah, this is so much weaker on raw damage. I need raw damage when you're doing it solo. Oh, this is very bad. Huh, why am I... Oh, right, I'm invincible after reviving for a while. That slow man saves me. Oh, right, I have a ton of revives. So that means I can super power up. Off of Awake. The one I did pop isn't very helpful. Still, this is going to be way more revives than I should have popped. I didn't realize Luminaire did so little damage. I could still pop out the Twilight Requiem stuff, too. 
It's clearly not just that. No, oh, get away from the candy box. Yeah. Which one? It's out of bounds I'm looking for. Did I miss it? No, it's Jail of Crystal. I don't know if this will actually work, but I'm testing it. Well, I can certainly destroy the snowman easy peasy. And that means it's really easy to just stock up a ton of items. I wonder how long I'm going to keep this flash freeze going. Uh, well, that long apparently. Snowmans! I think that was a break in the timer. Yeah, I have so many. That's a crazy amount of Orologians. It's also crazy that I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, so many vacuums, too. Hey! I kept it basically changed until they popped back up again. I'll get a screen clear and weapon. Do this nonsense and just chain being invincible. Nope, we're not. Yikes. Man, if I hadn't picked up a wake, it'd be so much worse. Yeah, obviously, it makes you level up more and procs it more, but as a solo weapon, it's much weaker than Luminaire or his prismatic missile. Oh, hey, there's Pomerola. Well, not that it's going to be all that helpful at this point, but hey. I'm going to stock up so much armor, incidentally. Oh, this is getting way too dicey. That is a ton of revives to have lost. I know Whiteout's been a lot of, pretty difficult, but still, this is pretty absurd. Oh, but now I'm no longer invincible. And now I'm down again. Man, that's a lot of revives. I clearly massively overestimated how much damage this weapon did. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done Zion Old Sanctuary with it, so... I suppose it's not a surprise. I suppose... I know it's... it is not a surprise that I didn't know about how little damage it did. Now, is this... Yeah, but I want to power up to my maximum strength, you... Man, the invincibility on revives lasts so long, and I still burn through so many of them. Okay, that was 50.3 million. That was not very good. Ah, there's the first one down. Space 54 is coming up next. Alright, so here's hoping that Space 54 goes less disastrous, as Luminaire takes up beating every stage with every character for the Vampire Survivors Beswick. Why am I saying this? You know where it's at. I'm 130-some videos in. Well, that's because the algorithm wants me to say it. Gotta say the title of your video, or else it won't get views or something. Oh no, it's silly and nonsensical. Alright, can Arbor and Empty Tome are on the map here? Well, obviously. That means I can get spinach. That was fast. I mean, I had my max pump damage and I still wasn't doing enough with Luminaire. I'm gonna have to not evolve it. And I think it means I'm going to banish out the Max Crown. 
since that's the lesser of two evils here. Right. Oh, there's my Toronto's box. Yeah, Heart of Fire is just lesser than the Twilight one. Yeah, da, da, da. It's mostly pointless to get levels. Oh, that was a waste of one almost. Uh, banish the crown. I think the extra level. Well, then again, I guess the sheer number of levels I would get from Crown would compensate for whatever the last level of Prismatic Missile is. Just takes a bit way too long to get to the other tomes and stuff. It's just not very efficient. Uh, no, a Tract Orb. Ah, oh, that ended it very fast. Why am I holding off on getting the chests? Uh, the silly things I do. Well, that triggered at the worst time. That did not, though. That was a very good time. Alright, what else do I want? Uh, let's see. Well, it's obviously gotta be some. Armor, probably. That synergizes best with Awake. Oh, right, it should spawn in the shadow things. Oh, I guess I already wiped them out. Oh, well, there's a raw empty tome. Uh oh. Shooters. Prismatic missile time. I know I've seen armor up earlier. It's not like I've secretly banished it or anything. Still don't know what happened with the flash arrow. I've seen that bug happen a few times on the Reddit. First time it ever happened to me, I think. Definitely the first time it ever happened on camera. Or, you know, got to recording software. I don't have a webcam. I will never have a webcam. Man, come on, armor. Show up already. There you are. Silly armor. Thinking you wouldn't show up. Uh oh. Oh. Huh, that could have been a Tronus box maxed out. In fact, it really should have been. It's doomed me. Doom me. <laughs> and let's just make sure you can't. And destroy some Melises along the way. Everyone's favorite pastime, destroying the Melises. Next one up should have the Candle Arbador. And with that, I can then run to the Golden Fingers and try some silliness there. And... Really hope the video is CO2 getting Profosion de Amore would have gotten more views. So how often do you see that happen? Oh right, awake or the beginning affects this. But no. Nope. I must have done a poor thumbnail or poor name or something. Uh also I guess if you don't play the game it's not very descriptive if you don't know what it is. Might be some of the problem here. Uh, oh, I'm not on it. Yeah. Oh, it makes the fire bigger. Hmm. Alright, it's down one more. Then I can start going for the thingamajig. Huh, Boogaloo Illusions also would have been good pickup. 
In fact, there's a ton of good pickups that synergize with this weapon. Heck, basically everything does. And I think even Bracer increases the speed at which it falls down, so... Probably one of the better Bracer weapons. Oh, the cubes are getting in. How did that happen? I mean, the regular enemies aren't doing anything. They can't get it close to me. They have like 900 health if the Rosary effect does 100%. So that's fun to learn. Seriously, 900 health? That's so much. What do I even want? What would I even want? Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I mean, well, I've already hit random always, so it doesn't matter that much. Man, she does have good synergy with basically every single Arcana, doesn't she? Obviously, three of them directly affect this. Beginning to... I guess Lost and Found Painting doesn't do anything. And Game Killer... Well, it's terrible, but Game Killer is terrible for basically everyone. Except, like, Larry Jeep. Porta? No. Not Porta, the other one. Is it Porta? Oh, right. I can just run through these. Oh, there's the other Arcana chest. Huh? Wait, is that circle doily always been there? Huh. I have never noticed that before. Oh, looks like the train broke. Time to head out to get that Arcana chest. Oh, it should be somewhere around here. There he is. No, oh, explosions damage is affected by curse. Why did I never read that before? Okay, what do I want? Boogaloo? Boogaloo. I mean, it's a bit pointless at this point, but hey, comedy option. Watch them explosions rise. Oh wow, that's some serious lag. Alright, gold finger should be right around the corner. Uh, right here. There we go. Oh, they're not spawning in fast enough for me to do this. Oh, there it goes. Yay! No! Look, if it was one of the anima evolution combination things, I would totally do it. Because it's just so rare to get outside of the characters. But not if it's Victory Sword. Because Victory Sword's in the normal pool. It's not really a problem if it shows up. And also, it's not like I'm going to be losing anyway at this point. They, they're barely getting on screen, the explosion damage is so far off. It's only going to get worse, too. So yeah, Boogaloo with her is very strong. And that's not even that effective use of it. <laughs> Man, I'm not even back over the phaser yet. This is so far out. Get it? Because I'm in space. 54. Oh good, it's recording. I will never not be... Well, not terrified, but annoyed that I somehow keep forgetting to make sure that the settings are correct before I go into it. I mean, I watch so many videos of other people playing games, and every time they had 
recording issues or audio issues, I thought, well, how do you don't catch that? And BAM! As soon as I start doing it, it's issues all over the place. Not that I ever drag them in the mud or name call them or anything for like that, because, well, I am quite evil. I'm also not, I'm also incredibly lazy. I don't feel it's worth the effort to do something like that. Wow, it's lagging hard. Well, granted, I suppose trying to beat every stage with every character does make it seem strange to call myself lazy. Uh-oh. Wait, where's the golden finger? Did not grab it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. I think there's too many things from the boxes spawning in. No, it's gotta be up more. I mean, I have a track door, but I should have grabbed it by now. There we go. Well, granted, the boxes aren't exactly a fast takedown. Still doing pretty okay. Yeah, it's more because of the weird way the lag was going on, too. Oh, well. Pretty clean win on Space 54. A lot of big boom time. Well, I guess also I may have pissed off the algorithm with my titles. I know there's forbidden words. That might be what's causing the issues. The video's not showing up as much. Okay. Ah, oh, that's proper death. How many revives do I end up with? 10? 11? No, that's silly. 134 on Prismatic Missile 2. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and she revives with so much invincibility, so I could just go around doing silly stuff for a bit. Oh, dang it, I didn't want to freeze. Oh well. Oh man, there's so many blocks spawning and that death is actually getting pushed over. Oh wait, maybe it's me seeing death in the videos that's causing it. Uh oh. Either way, that was a much more impressive showing than actual Luminaire in Whiteout. So hey, for solo weapons, that's another one that you can chalk in with the base version being better than the Evolved. I didn't expect it here, but hey, you learn something new every day. Okay, it was a bit more of a surprising win than I thought it'd be, but Luminaire has taken us up to 202 on the Beswick. Oh yeah, almost out of the 110s. Or, well, 1100s. That won't keep that one. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the likes, dislikes, comments, and subscriptions you give me. I really do. Uh, so if you want to leave any, go ahead and hit them down there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and keep messing around.